Good morning YouTube! Welcome back to another episode. A couple of things that came in that I ordered from Amazon was my transom trim controller. My transom trim my transom trim controller. Holy Max, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> All right, so this is the thing that I'm gonna put on my motor. So that way I don't have to go back to my controls to, to lift up the motor, bring it up or down. I can do that right at the motor itself. Uh, so I guess you can say I'm kind of bringing the, that forced motor up to date because most outboard motors to date have that option. Uh, okay, what else did I get? I also got my new battery trays. Uh, we have to get hardware for this. It didn't come with anything. And uh, yeah, it's actually really nice really 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 nice especially for the price it was like $13 $12 for each I got two uh, so I need to get like I said hardware for it so we are on our way to the hardware store all of the hardware has to be stainless steel because it's going into the boat we don't want any of that to rust all right so to start this off a couple of things that I picked up on Amazon all right so I got two battery trays remember because I want to put two batter two batteries in here I got some marine silicone sealant and some stainless steel hardware all right, so what we're gonna need to do first is take out the old battery tray, which is right there. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't have any place to put this camera, so I'm gonna take out the battery tray and uh, I'm gonna replace it. So we have one, two, three, four, looks like eight screws. So uh, let's take those out and take out this old battery tray. Took out the tray, cleaned it. Uh, I'll show you what I'm using. WD-40 degreaser. Engine decreaser works pretty good. Turned out really nice. So okay, what I'm gonna do next is from the previous holes, from the screws. There's two back there and four in the front. Uh, I'm gonna fill it up with the marine silicone. Now seal the holes. So first, I'm gonna take the other tray and I am gonna measure it to see where the holes line up. All right, so it looks like this battery tray is just a little bit bigger than the other one, but that's all right. Uh, the durability of this thing seems pretty good. Uh, the type of material of plastic, I don't know what they used, but it seems pretty rigid. Um, I like it. As you can see over here, the holes before goes right in between. Here's the other before screws. This one goes in between. So I am gonna have to fill those up with marine sealant. And for marine silicone that I'm using, it is by Starbright Marine Silicone Sealant. This one's gonna dry clear. All the products that I'm gonna be using from Amazon will be listed below. Uh, so there will be links in the description below. All right, so let's take out the battery tray and start sealing up these holes. All right, so for the whole reason why you wanna reseal all these holes, it's because you don't want water going inside. And then the fiberglass absorbing it, and the next thing you know, your hull's gonna be garbage. All right, so for the screws that I'm gonna be using is um, one and a half inch, number six stainless steel. You're gonna want something that's gonna have a lot of teeth, aggressive teeth to sink into, and make sure that it's stainless steel. All right, so first one, line up everything where you want it. I'm gonna go more or less right here. All right, so that's pretty much what to do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest. We'll be right back. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these holes in with silicone, and then I will screw everything back in. All right, it's getting really crowded in here. I will get back to you when I'm done. All right, so that is in. So I did four screws in the front, two in the back, I was getting too close to the transom and to the edge there. I don't want to, like the chance of drilling into the transom or drilling into the wall to go through the hall. Yeah, so I did four in the front, two in the back, and then take your strap and just feed it from the back side forward and it's done. All right, let's get a battery, throw it in. Let's see how it looks. All right, there it is. Looks pretty good. Okay, battery tray is a little big, but that's okay. 
Uh, what I can do is I can put in a piece of wood, two by four, or maybe even a piece of plastic to wedge in the battery so it doesn't rock back and forth. But it's in there, it's secured. What I like about this is gonna be quick with the snap here, and then it's easy to pull out. Battery one is installed. Now, repeat. Okay, so the one thing I didn't show you guys on the other battery tray is on how to tap. I used a 764th to drill the holes, and then for the tapping, I'm using a 316. And then what you wanna do is you wanna throw the drill in reverse, so that way the drill bit is going backwards. So then what happens is, you see that? Let's do it one more time. There you go, like a pro. All right, so the reason for that is one, you're not gonna drill through by accident making that hole bigger. Two, uh, basically what you're doing is you're rubbing that 90 degree edge uh, to a 45. All right, second battery tray is in and the battery as well. So like I was saying, one of the reasons why I want this type of style battery tray is if I wanna take the battery home and I wanna charge it for whatever reason, look, done. Now I can go ahead, pull the battery out with no difficulty and take it home, charge it. And then putting it back in is just as, just as simple, but backwards. So we got one battery and then two batteries. So essentially what I wanna have happen is I want this one to be the house, house battery or the battery that's gonna be powering all the navigation lights, the radio, the lights in the boat. And then this battery right here, not necessarily gonna be this one, but I might get a carb a gel battery. Anyways, so that one is gonna be actually the starter battery. So that battery is only gonna be specifically to only start the outboard motor. All right, so that is it for the video. I'm actually really excited about getting these two batteries put together. Now there's a couple of things that I'd be buying and it's by Blue Sea Systems. Uh, basically that's just an on and off switch for the batteries. And then it comes with this thing that they call ACR. What it does is it actually, it's intelligent. It reads the, the voltage for both batteries or particularly for the second battery. So when it gets down to a certain voltage, it actually uh, kicks in and then it's able to draw the charging power from either the alternator from the motor or from uh, a house charger and it will charge the second battery. So that's gonna be something really good. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, the boat's starting to look a lot better now. I know it was only one mod, but uh, I think it's an important mod. As I said, you should always have a second battery. That was one of the main reasons why I bought that booster pack. I bring it on board with me so that way I'm not caught with a dead battery. But now I'm gonna be able to have two batteries and I'll probably end up bringing the booster pack anyways. Just, you know, never can be too safe on the, on the water. You know what I mean? So I think it, this is gonna turn out really nice. I'm actually getting really excited now. <laughs> All right, until the next video.